Boom. It's protagonist Jaywalk. And antagonist Kim. It looks like we're ready to ride. I think we're pretty much, when I looked at it, it looks like we're pretty much at the end. So, I am just gonna boop. I think, I think this will be the last episode. Although I feel like it should be. Oh wow. Yeah, it'll run a little longer than usual, but not too much, we don't think. Wow. Can I get back up here again if I fall down? That's the real question. Yeah, that's wrong. Oh yeah, this is totally worse. I'll be exposed. Oh man. But what am I supposed to do? I guess just straight up kill as many aliens as possible. It's cool that your like blast visor on your helmet's getting cracked, huh? What? He actually came up to me? I didn't see that. You didn't? No. Oh, it was really well, I was cool. trying not to die. Well, I, I know, but from where I'm sitting, you had like little cracks where the bullets hit your visor. I thought that was pretty cool. I can't see myself. Return to the battlefield. See how there's cracks on your. Oh, well, now I see that. And I want to get back up to your tower. Dying. Oh, right here. stopped it and we stopped recording literally right before it's over that'd be insane it'd be pretty funny like a 10 minute video yay uh oh <clears throat> hmm. oh so that was my helmet at the start well, that's pretty sad. <laughs> sad. <laughs> Three minute video, baby. Well, we can put in our thoughts afterwards, I think. <laughs> I well, guess no, because so. it said 11. It said 11 out of 12. It didn't take long for Reach to fall. Our enemy was ruthless, efficient, but they weren't nearly fast enough. For you had already passed the torch. And because of you, we found Halo, unlocked its secrets, shattered our enemy's resolve. Our victory, your victory, was so close, I wish you could have lived to see it. But you belong to Reach. Your body, your armor, all burned and turned to glass. Everything, except your courage. That you gave to us, and with it we can rebuild.
Okay. <laughs> Shortest episode ever. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, goodness gracious. That's priceless. It literally could have played for another like five minutes and would have been there. That's it's absolutely amazing. Um, so this was Halo Reach. As you can see, we have the Master Chief Collection. I think next up, if I go with campaigns, is going to be actual Halo. And if I remember correctly, you can push a button to see what Halo was like originally and what it's like now, which would be kind of cool if I remember that correctly. So that'd be cool to kind of do that. Um, and then obviously this, 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 and then ODST. I haven't played ODST. And then this is cross game playlist. I don't know what this is. Oh, you could just do a bunch of different missions across a bunch of games. That's pretty cool. And then obviously after the Master Chief Collection, there'll be Halo 5 and then Halo 6. Um, we'll kind of go through. I know Halo 6, I believe, is a little bit lengthier of a game because it's more open world. There's like more stuff. It's not as linear as these these ones are. I want to say Halo 6 is more open. Right, it might be. Yeah, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, so far, uh, not a bad game. Uh, you know, it was obviously kind of like if we were to summarize the story. Pretty much, how did Cortana get access to information and get to Master Chief, essentially, right? Because it seems like they were developing Cortana and collecting information on what all this stuff was, which is probably why Cortana maybe has an edge with regards to the rings and the other halos. It's been a long mm -hmm. time, but that was kind of it. So you kind of play this character that effectively just sacrifices their life um, well, all of for the greater do. good. Yeah. The whole, the whole team is gone by the end of the game, which is really crazy, but. Yeah, not one lived to tell a tale, which is kind of crazy, right? Because Cortana doesn't know that Master Chief exists, right? If I remember correctly, I, I could be completely wrong. Maybe I'm just remembering the ads they play, which, you know, given sometimes how they do their marketing, <laughs> isn't always right. I think that was like an issue with Halo 5. But, um, because I think that's where I had to look at lock and stuff. But, um, Cortana was looking at the Spartans and then she ended up seeing Master Chief and then that's why she's, and she ended up selecting him because there was something in him she saw it differently or something like that. I feel like that that, that was what it was. Um, so it'll be really interesting to see as we play through and my memory gets refreshed. Because, like, man, when I was playing Halo 1 and Halo 2, this was, like, I think the, this was, God, it was in high school. No, it was in middle school. Yeah, so probably, yeah, you know. It's like, like, I guess pre, let's think. Yeah, I was like, I was probably well, playing Halo we're... One, and yeah. then I know I was playing Halo Three in high school. So that was almost a decade ago, right? Yeah. Holy shit, that's crazy. Two thousand ten. It's already twenty twenty two. So yeah. a little more than that for the first Halo, which time flies, right? Yeah. It's pretty crazy. And it's been so long. Yeah, it's been a while. In a bit, but yeah, no, this was a this was a fun game. Um, I found myself obviously kind of more interested in, like Master Chief's story. I think that's one of the things I kind of realized with the Halo franchise is like Master Chief's super awesome. So to go and play as someone who isn't Master Chief it just feels kind of weird, almost like you're playing a different franchise. A little disconnected. Yeah, just a little bit with the story. You know, as, as bad as it sounds, everyone, it was like. As we were playing through it, you know, we're wondering where do we go next. Like, you hear the narration in the back, the the characters, the actors saying everything, but as you're kind of going through and fighting, you're like kind of getting turned around. You're not quite sure, you know, where is where until you're finally like they put on the little the little tag where you're supposed to go. And <laughs> so I think there was a little bit of disconnect there, but yeah, you know, all in all, like mm -hmm. I would say. Maybe it's just like the remember berries or whatever they call it. Remember berries, yeah. But I feel like every single Halo game, at least one through four, from my memory, was obviously better than Halo Reach. Just, and I think that's literally just the power of the Master Chief branding. I mean, I don't know if people in the future will have that sense because I know they came out with like a Master Chief series that is. Um, to some people questionable i haven't watched it so i can't really speak on it but i do wonder and i know with halo 5 i think 
where I stopped at Halo 4 purely because I think Halo 4 is the last game you could do split screen co-op because that was the best thing about Halo. You literally just have a bunch of friends. Halo came out, your friend would come over and you guys would play the campaign. You get all the skulls, play the campaign. You literally play the campaign like multiple times throughout the year on top of just doing multiplayers, creating maps. And then I remember you could like, I think you could look at other people's maps and some people would use like gun to draw like inappropriate stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like naked chicks and shit. <laughs> stuff So it was always super funny and you could like kind of play with it more, but oh man, dude, it was a blast. Well, uh, that's it for the Halo Reach saga. And I guess you guys will see us again for the next iteration. I'm not sure. I don't know if we'll start it either this next weekend or the weekend after that. Pretty much we're looking at, we're gonna be working our way through Halo, but at the same time, we gotta start putting out some more for Pillars of Eternity because we're trying to run two games at the same time and a thought process is kind of like i want a game i can run that's super dense i have to really think about but also a game i kind of just have fun with and then depending on how i'm feeling and how heavy my workload is i can kind of switch between easy going or hard and difficult so we'll see and then the other thing that's definitely on our radar is stray which i don't know if you guys seen that um advertising for it, but we saw it on steam we play as like an orange tabby in a cyberpunk s world so that's definitely something uh, we're interested in. I think that comes out mid July. So I think I think we could get through another. I think we could get through Halo before then. At least, uh, yeah, just Halo before, yeah, just Halo. I think we probably. get. I think we get Halo One before then. And and maybe a lot more Poe. Yeah, we're definitely not going to finish Pillars of No, yeah, that, that. that's a long term <laughs> game, but definitely some more stuff for you guys to watch coming up. So awesome! Well, thank you guys so much. This was fun. This is protagonist Jaywa and antagonist Kim signing out.